There you are. Yep, you got a full list. All right, let's talk about it. Okay. Chamber of Chills, number 11 recreation. What drew you to this piece? Oh, well, uh, the whole thing with the hooded. What's funny is when I first looked at the cover, honestly, I was reminded of um, Friday the 13th Part 2. Uh, Jason is Jason is there, but he's wearing this silly sack on his head with only like one eye cut out, I think. And uh, he's, you know, the big bad killer. And as soon as I saw that cover, I was like, you know, the the costume may be a little bit different. Colors are obviously different, but I just, I, I don't know, something about it was just like, I, I, I like it. Because, you know, like these horror movies, it's all about final girl who will survive, you know, and all that stuff. And I was just like, you know what? No one's going to survive. She's done. Put a fork in her. She's done. So I decided to make it look like, you know, she's been through the ringer. Um, she's, you know, patched herself up. She's fought for so long. She's cried and cried and ran and everything else. And finally, the bad guy caught up to her. And the, unfortunately, this time, there's not going to be a happy ending. This one's all about the bad guy winning, I guess. <laughs> if I had to sum it up. The bad guy. I still, I still love the fact that you're the nicest guy in the world and you're just so all up into the villains. It's <laughs> Dude, villains are so much more interesting than the heroes. Yeah, I, know, I know. I just love that you reference Friday the 13th part two. Oh, <laughs> what can I say, man? That's it's a, it's a hell of a movie.